In the meantime, we are counting down the countdown their audio television screens as we are talking about just a few hours from now, precisely at 2.35 p.m., India's third mission to the moon will be taking off from the launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Station in Sri Harikota. To talk more on that, we are currently joined by Mr. Nambi Narayan, the aerospace scientist, and he will also take us through exactly what are the expectations this time around. Thank you very much, Mr. Narayan, for joining us here on Times. Now, good morning to you, sir. It's a big day, sir. How are you also counting down when it comes good to morning. a billion hopes and billion prayers today, sir? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really happy. Uh, in fact, I, I do not uh, find any problem with the mission in the sense that today's launch is uh, like any other GSLV. So the real uh, tension will be there only on the August 23rd and 24th when you are really attempting to soft land on the moon. So that way, if you look at it, uh, we are absolutely quiet and calm. Dr. Narayan, also, you know, do you see a lot of increased interest as well? Because the entire country is now, you know, gripped at what's going to happen. Like you mentioned, the countdown is on and the entire country is waiting to see what happens. Uh, from what happened a few years ago, now the understanding among the people as well for this, uh, you know, elite group that India is likely to go into, this is something that has captured the imagination of the entire nation. Do you see that marked difference? Uh, you know, it's no longer with the space enthusiast, but the entire country that is now gripped with what's going to happen? Yeah, I am I'm, I'm very happy to note that. In fact, I recall during the year 1966-67, uh, I was carrying a dart payload, which is a very small uh, payload, uh, got it fabricated outside because we didn't have a fabrication facility. And uh, we, I was carrying it by the uh, Kerala State Transport Corporation bus and uh, bringing it to Tumba. So everybody was looking at it. They, most of them were asking, what is it? Now today we have reached a stage where we are uh, in the position of launching a soft landing mission to the moon. But most interestingly, as you rightly pointed out, uh, the entire nation is uh, with us today. They are just looking at it with uh, not only curiosity, but with a lot of uh, expectations and a uh, lot of inspirations. I, I find the small children, they are the real uh, uh, people who are really after this. I'm sure that due to various reasons, if the schools are closed, they all will be in the television, glued to the television in different channels. In fact, all the channels in the morning news carry only this. For the past two, three days, there are special editions and things like that. So I'm very happy that the nation is uh, with ISRO and uh, they are waiting for, for the result very eagerly, very, very eagerly. Yeah. Right. Uh, Narayanan, sir, you know, what do you believe that the lessons that have been learned previously from Chandrayaan 2 and uh, to be brought in in Chandrayaan 3 because even when it comes to entering into the space orbit and landing on the moon and the soft landing part, that would be the most crucial of this Chandrayaan 3 mission. So what do you believe have the lessons been learned? No, actually, if we, our design, this present design of Chandrayaan 3 is a failure-based design. Uh, we learned from the failure. and uh, Of course, we had a problem in the soft landing of Chandrayaan 2. The problem was identified and it was attributed to the software. And then it was uh, uh, also, we had some mechanical problems on the stability. Now, both the problems were identified, understood, analyzed, and then rectified in this design. And we also intelligently used the existence of the arbiter there, which helped us to increase the payload a little bit so that we can make, uh, uh, strengthen some of the elements uh, in the payload. So that way, we are very sure that uh, all the problems which we face in Chandrayaan 2 were addressed too. Now, as you know, in space, anything can happen. Now, uh, for example, we, we crash landed. Hmm. Because of that, the lander crashed. Because of that, the rover, everything went to a bad shape. Now, this mission, we will certainly overcome the soft landing part of it. 
Now, after shaft planting, you have some more things are left out. The rover has to come out, and the rover has to travel, and the rover has to uh, uh, take some samples, and uh, all those things are there, which are new. As far as uh, Sandrayan 2 is concerned, this is new. So I hope things go well, but primary objective of this is to place a soft landed uh, rover on okay. the moon, that is number one. Number two, we also do some experiments using the same rover in, 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 in some sense. Though it is a small payload, it will certainly give you some useful input. Okay, so lessons have been learned. Stay with us. We have uh, Aman Kumar, astronomer, Space India, joining us. Vinod Srivastava, former ISRO scientist, and Dr. Ajay Lele, consultant of MPID SA, as well, joining us on the broadcast. Mr. Vinod Srivastava, um, you know, as we wait eagerly to see the launch of Chandrayaan 3, what are the lessons that have been learned from Chandrayaan 2, and what are the changes I think that have been made uh, from Chandrayaan 2 to now Chandrayaan 3? Good morning to all of you, and my due respect to Dr. Nabin Aran, the senior most uh, on this. Now, month of July 1980, we have uh, started our journey for the satellite by launching the first uh, SLV-3 successful flight. That was uh, July 18. Now, in the month of July, about four years back in 2019, we have launched Chandrayaan 2, which everybody has uh, covered. And the landing at the moon surface up to 2.1 kilometer was perfectly all right. Then we lost the contact, as it was told, the velocity at the time of landing was slightly more. Now in Chandrayaan 3, we are going to use the rocket, what we called a GSLV Mark III, but our uh, chairman, Thro, Dr. Tomnath, he has given a new terminology when he has launched the first uh, GSLV III called as a LVM. Now this LVM Mark III is nothing but the rename of the GSLV Mark III. Right, sir. Now when it has landed, in the Chandrayaan 2, and we have lost the contact. So how we have improved uh, from that failure for the Chandrayaan 3? Now we have increased uh, even the velocity up to 3 kilometers per second. This construction of the Chandrayaan 3 right, is very so we have other guests as well yeah. with us, and we I'm told that our reporters are also joining us live. So I have to quickly go across to Dharani and also to Deepak there. Dharani, Deepak, good morning to both of you. Dharani, coming to you. Uh, you have been there at the iconic location, and you will be lucky enough to witness this historic moment through your own eyes there. Just tell us about today's preparations that have been made on ground. And of course, we are also expecting a lot of people there, as uh, Dr. Nambi Naranan was talking about, that their eyes will be glued to the television sets. Uh, the launch site is all set and today by 2.35 p.m. Uh, you know, ISRO will launch Chandrayaan 3 into the sky and definitely this is going to be a major feat for the Indian, you know, space sector. In fact, right now I'm standing in the Satish Dhawan Space Center here in Shrigiri Kota and the mood is very lively and comfortable. Uh, people have started coming, you know, right from 6 a.m. in the morning. And in fact, uh, we are expecting thousands of people uh, to be seated in the public gallery here uh, to witness this massive launch by 2.35 p.m. And this will be India's third lunar mission and second attempt to make a soft plan on the moon and uh, you know this mission will have three primary objectives one is to make a, a safe and you know soft landing on the moon and the second objective is to demonstrate the roving capabilities of the rover and the third would be to perform uh, the necessary and required uh, scientific experiments so Chandrayaan 3 will be carrying a lander and a rover named a uh, Vikram and Pragyan respectively uh, you know to the moon and okay. uh, uh, this mission is expected I uh, know to be uh, you know completed around August 23 or 24 uh, so and uh, as the launch is happening today it will take almost 40 days uh, you for Chandrayaan 3 to reach the moon. Yes, and that's so going to be a very anxious time for the scientists and, of course, the entire country as well, Dharani. So, Deepak, talking about why Chandrayaan 3 is going to be a game changer, why it's so significant is because a successful launch is going to put India in an elite club uh, and, uh, you know, it's going to make India the top player in the space science. And this is the reason why it's going to be so crucial today.